Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zai, I make motherhood and lifestyle content and today I'm going to be filming my what I'm going to pack in my hospital bag for my scheduled c-section. This is also going to be my second c-section. The first one was an emergency c-section and I made a what I packed in my hospital bag thinking I was going to go in for a vaginal delivery and I'll say two things. One, I didn't even touch my hospital bag. The hospital had provided me with literally every single thing I had needed and all the things that I did bring I didn't really need because I had a c-section. However, this time around because I'm prepared there are a couple of things that I would have changed as far as clothing, things that the hospital obviously won't provide that I think would be nice for me to have. I'm keeping my hospital bag really minimal and I'm really excited to share with you guys today what I have. By the way, if you see me holding my tummy it's because she's moving quite a bit. <laughs> so hard to get comfortable now but I'm so excited to share this video with you guys. This will be my last video um, until she's born. The next one after this will be my birth vlog. I'm so excited. So hopefully you guys find this kind of stuff helpful. I'm going to start off with what I'm packing for myself. Like I said, you guys, the hospital nine times out of 10 will have everything you guys need. What I wasn't prepared for after a C-section was being so vulnerable and not being able to do literally anything by myself that includes getting out of bed. Getting out of bed was so hard and it took like a full maybe like five minutes to get out of the hospital bed. I needed either the nurse's assistance or my husband's assistance and clothing plays a big role in that. So I thought very thoroughly as far as what I wanted to bring, what would make life easier as far as breastfeeding, getting out of bed, adjusting myself on the bed. And when I went in the first time I had packed a gown. I know why most people pack gowns at the hospital. It's just easy to unbutton and breastfeed. Um, but for my case, it was actually not very helpful. The buttoning was actually a lot more work to unbutton and button every time I breastfed. And anytime I tried to get comfortable on the bed, the back of my gown would always get like caught behind my butt. And it just wasn't very like helpful in that way. I know it may sound like a little thing, but when you are in pain and you just basically had a surgery, those little things are going to matter. So because of that, I am not packing a gown this time around. Instead, I'm just going to stay in the underwear that the hospital gives me and the nursing bras that I purchased from Amazon. I'm actually wearing one <laughs> right now. But this is the nursing bra I purchased from Amazon. It comes in a pack of four or five and I ordered a quantity of two. So I got like 10 of these nursing bras. Um, and what I really like about them, you guys, another little tip, just something that's so helpful after a C-section, you want to make your life as easy as possible. And I did have the um, like nursing bras that clip, but I noticed myself getting so like agitated when I like could not get the clip in and on. And when you're just like recovering from a surgery, like you just wanna make everything easier for yourself. So I have those nursing bras, but those are the things I'm gonna use once I've healed a little bit more. What I love about these is you can literally just whip out your boob and whip it back in here. So I'm packing these nursing bras. I'm packing a total of two. I don't see myself leaking honestly while I'm in the hospital. I don't see myself having an abundance of milk supply um, so I don't think I need more than two and if I did my husband could just come home and get some more because our hospital thankfully is only five minutes away so we got pretty lucky in that but these are so comfortable. I have actually been wearing them to sleep every single night. I ordered a size medium and I'd say they're a little snug. Like I think I could also be okay with a large, but these are awesome. Now, of course though, I am going to need to like walk around. I'm packing pajama pants and the reason I'm choosing pants is because again, the whole getting in and out of bed thing was not fun with a gown. These are actually from Costco. They fit me now at almost 37 weeks. So I know they're gonna fit me postpartum and they're really stretchy, they're comfortable, they have a breathable material. I'm someone that gets hot pretty quick and so I knew whatever I packed I needed to be comfortable in. So I'm packing two pair actually. The other pair 
Um, you guys might have seen it in one of my vlogs in my nighttime routine recently. It's like these green pair of pajama pants. Also super comfortable, breathable. I can't find that one right now. It might be dirty. And I'm going to pack one cardigan when I am walking around the hospital so that I can obviously cover myself a little bit. And this came in a pack. So this actually came in a set of three pants, a cardigan, and a shirt and a tank top actually costco has like the greatest deals you guys honestly better than amazon i got a pack of four things for like 15 bucks which was crazy and the green pants that i cannot show right now because i can't find them that also came with a pair of shorts and a top for like 15 bucks so i definitely recommend if you have a costco to go to costco to get your postpartum stuff because they have amazing deals. Now I do plan on also packing at least a pair of high-waisted underwear. This might just be for when I'm going home, but this was an essential the first time around. Um, I ordered a size medium, which honestly is a little snug. Um, it's 95% cotton and 5% spandex. It'll still work. I think a large would have worked just fine too, but I am gonna pack just one pair because again, the hospital's gonna have literally everything that I need. So I'm only gonna pack one pair of underwear. Going home outfit. <laughs> this will be my second summer baby. It's gonna be hot. It is gonna be hot the day that we come home. So, I actually bought a dress, believe it or not, that's also breastfeeding friendly and super easy to put on. Probably one of like my favorite things to wear during this pregnancy. I got it off of Marshalls actually. It's just this black dress here. It's a maxi dress. It doesn't drag or anything or else I wouldn't wear it. But you guys are probably like, that's really weird. Zai. like, why are you wearing a dress to go home? It's just really comfortable it this is a really comfortable dress and like i said it is very breastfeeding friendly i'll wear my nursing bra underneath my high-waisted underwear underneath steven will help me put it on just put it over my head and i'm really really excited about it so this is what i'm wearing to go home also very breathable like with the rest of the things that i'm packing shoes that i still can't decide between i know for a fact i'm going to bring just my normal like Target sandals, but I may also bring these um, like fluffier slippers that I have. I might be bring both of those since my bag is pretty minimal. Something I recently learned about that I wish I would have known about my first pregnancy were silver nursing cups. These were like 35 bucks on Amazon. So I do have nipple cream, but I'm not packing the nipple cream. One, because nipple cream is something else the hospital gave me with my first delivery, so I don't feel the need for it. These, apparently, you keep on your breasts basically all day in between feedings. Um, and you can use water, warm water, or your milk to put in between so that they can suction to your nipples. And with the kind of nursing bra that I have, it's going to be really easy to just pop them on. But this is what they look like. They're really tiny but yeah something i wish i would have known about the first time around because i've actually seen nothing but good reviews about these silver nursing cups and i was on the fence about buying them i was like oh maybe it's just something else for me to buy maybe i won't need them you guys follow suzanne hendrix on instagram she's actually been talking a lot about like her postpartum care and using these for the first time and how this is her third baby now but her last two, she tried to toughen out the like soreness and, and the pain from the cracked nipples from the beginning of breastfeeding and how much of a regret that was. And I kind of felt like I was the exact same way and I didn't want to be that way again because I'm just trying to enjoy postpartum this time around so much more, be more prepared. And breastfeeding is not easy. It's so not easy, you guys. So if I can control the pain and by taking it away, even just, just a little bit, that's what I'm gonna do. So don't worry, all these things minus the clothes are gonna be linked for you guys. And then I'm actually packing this Pippet Baby Balm for Baby Girl and I. You can use this for anything, as anything. You can use it for chapped areas, for your lips, the baby's, any, any area of the baby that is chapped, maybe a diaper rash, literally anything. And it's in this two ounce little container. 
It's not going to take up a ton of space in my diaper bag, but I thought this would be just something nice to have. It's fragrance free, it's non-toxic, it's clean, something else I'm taking with me. Now other things that I'm bringing like skincare, I'm not going to go super into depth with. If you guys are curious, the like kind of face wash and moisturizer and all those things that I'm bringing, I'll have it linked down below, but what I have on my list is I'm going to pack face wash, my toner, hydration serum, my moisturizer, native deodorant, some lip balm, obviously my toothbrush and toothpaste, some hair ties and even a hair clip. And I am bringing my ritual vitamins. I think it'll be okay for me to take them. I just ordered the postnatal, but they're not gonna get here in time. So I am gonna continue to take my prenatal vitamins if they allow it. I don't see why they wouldn't. And I am gonna bring my curling iron. And that's only for mainly the day we leave the hospital. Now for the baby, you guys, you're gonna be shocked at how little I'm bringing for her. I'm bringing wipes, I'm bringing two pacifiers, I'm bringing that Pippet Balm, like I said, hope I'm pronouncing that brand correctly, and her going home outfit. I'm also bringing her little name sign that one of my sweet friends gifted us. So I'm literally gonna take her home in this really simple, very cute green, onesie sleeper and I'm deciding between <laughs> these two they're only going to be on for pictures by the way because I already know people are going to make comments about not putting little like headbands and head wraps on your baby this is just for pictures but I have this little white one it's the little like knot one um don't know if it's going to fit her head so that's why I'm bringing a backup and I'm bringing this little bow that has grain in it also um just in case so i'm packing those two things i'm packing her some mittens that she may or may not use oh my goodness you guys and then this right here okay almost forgot about this steven and i are not ones to really know how to swaddle a baby with my firstborn one he did not like to be swaddled um and two, we noticed like during the night, like we would get so frustrated <laughs> trying to swaddle him because we didn't know how and it was so hard. And he also just did not like being swaddled and we didn't want to like do it wrong and then have him suffocate with the blanket. So we needed to ask our nurses for assistance every single time. So instead, something we noticed our firstborn really, really love um, was this love to dream swaddle. So this, this is what I'm going to be bringing to the hospital for baby girl. And this is passed down from big brother. This is the newborn size. So this will fit as small as a five pound baby, which Lucas was. He was like five pounds, eight ounces. And this is just like the best invention ever. So I'm packing this swaddle for baby girl, make our lives so much easier. And then I am gonna bring her, again, don't know if I'm, we're gonna need it or anything, but just a little blinky that has her name on it. Might just be for pictures, but I was like, this was a gift for my grandma. So I thought, why not just bring it? We might use it, we might not. Um, again, it's summertime, so it's gonna be hot, but we'll see. So yeah, that's literally all the things I'm packing for the baby. I'm not even packing diapers for her because the hospital has diapers. The hospital will provide you with diapers. Um, I am packing wipes just because wipes are just always nice to have. I'm sweating a little bit. Okay, here is where I might seem a little bit extra, but this is just a personal preference sort of thing. I am going to be bringing my own throw blanket. And the reason is I run hot. So if I don't need a blanket, Cool. I'll just lay on top of the sheets, but I'm also the kind of person who like loves a cold room But I don't like going under the sheets and hospital sheets Bedding they're just like not very comfortable. I do this even at home. I don't sleep under our sheets I always have like a little throw so that I can just like lay on top of me But like my feet are always out and it's just like more comfortable for me And I know that's exactly how I'm gonna be at the hospital. I just don't like the sheets sometimes they're just too thick or they're too long and I know that's super high maintenance of me but bring in a thorough blanket because I think that's just going to make me more comfortable. And then a couple other things that I'm bringing is obviously a phone charger. I'm bringing Lucas's gift from little sis. I am bringing my camera. I do YouTube so gotta have my camera. 
I'm currently filming on it now, but I'll link all the stuff that I'm using. Also bringing extra camera batteries, plus my camera charger, and extra SD cards. So that's that's basically it. Now I don't, I still don't know if I plan on bringing any makeup. And again, if I did bring makeup, it would be very minimal and it would only be for the day we go home. I don't plan on wearing any makeup. I didn't wear any makeup while we were in the hospital first time. I didn't have time for it. I didn't want it. I wanted a clean face and that's why I'm really prioritizing my skincare. But going home, I did wear some makeup. I kind of regretted it a little bit just because I immediately took it off. Kind of felt like a waste of time. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be packing makeup, but if I do, it'll be very minimal. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. Everyone is very different. Everyone has their own like preferences and things that are a little more useful to them for their newborn. But this is what I think is going to work best for us. Feeling really confident about it. I spent a lot of time thinking about what I need, what I don't need, what's a necessity, and what is extra. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have ever had a C-section or multiple C-sections and can maybe think of something else that I could bring, feel free to comment it down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Love you guys like always and next time I see you, we'll have our baby girl. <laughs> All right. Bye guys.